Hey everyone and welcome back to How To Spend It. We all have those things we like to spend our money on that may be necessary to us, but not to others. Today we are going to be talking about the 15 expenses that you can optimize. I bet you do at least a few of these. But before we get onto that, go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already. It helps us out a lot and lets us know that we are helping to enrich lives out there. You may also want to stick around for a few additional bonus points. And without any further ado, let's get on to the video. Number 15. Charity, not for profit. We've seen those ad campaigns and the television infomercials asking to spare some change as a single donation or even as a broken down cost of so much per month. These are often accompanied by big eyes of children or animals with a song that hits you in the heart. While donating is great and makes you feel like you've helped someone just a little bit, you may want to research just where the money is going to. There are some charities that use what is donated to cover the overhead and the advertisement before it makes it to the intended destination. Other locations for animal charities offer to set up feeding stations for the wild, but in the end, this can result in the wild animals becoming dependent on humans, like indoor pets. Number 14. University the next one on our list we know some will agree with, while others will not. We have one side that will say that if you want to get ahead in life, you must have that university degree hanging on your wall. Depending on the degree you seek and the school you go to, the average person is looking at needing to take out student loans that they would then spend years paying back. For example, if it costs you 20,000 US dollars for one year of tuition, books, room, meal plan, then by the time you finish a four-year degree, you could be looking at an amount spent that could be a down payment on a home. Before going through and applying, research what is best and if there are any scholarships that may help. But check out number 11 for something surprising. Number 13. Vitamins. Growing up, do you remember being told that you need vitamin this or vitamin that to grow big and strong? Maybe to get your daily vitamins, your parents gave you those chalk with a bit of flavour tasting Flintstone characters. As adults, we still look at taking vitamins when we feel that there may be something lacking in our system. It could be vitamin C or B12. We look at the store shelves, hoping that by buying the bottles, it will boost what we are missing. We forget, though, that foods will also help improve the ones we are missing. This could mean eating more fruits and vegetables, as well as protein in our diets. The best thing to do before going out and buying bottle after bottle is consulting a doctor or nutritionist on what foods to add in at mealtime. Number 11. Paper Towels Next on our list not only saves us a few dollars by avoiding the purchase, but also saves those trees we need to breathe. Think about the amount of times we go to the counter and rip off a paper towel to wipe up a small spill. You could have multiple spills a day, which could result in a quarter of the roll being used in one day. A method that would save on the amount of times you need to go and buy those tall rolls is by purchasing a reusable dish towel set. These can be used several times over before needing to be cleaned. Years of use of a single towel could save those trees and leave those dollars in your wallet. Number 11. Bottled water. Similar to our number 12 spot on the list, bottled water can be viewed as a waste of money since many have access to it through fountains or their sink that doesn't have the end result of a plastic bottle possibly ending up somewhere other than the recycling. Want a solution to this? If you are going out to the ballpark, then bring your cooler along rather than stopping off and buying the bottles when you have ones that can be used again another day. Number 10. Weddings. There are magazines dedicated to our number 10 topic along with websites and major cities hold one if not two expos a year to bring in all different parts of a wedding for brides and grooms alike. The problem is that with so many choices out there, couples may see something they like that no one else can do, which means they are shelling out more money than expected. Bridal dresses at boutiques can be around 500 to 10,000 per dress, simply depending on how new and who the designer is. In addition, there are almost always alterations that add on the dollar signs. By the time the big day comes around and you need to finish paying for everything, you could be looking at a final price of 25 to $50,000, and that may well be at the bottom of the spectrum. If you want that fairy tale wedding, the one you've always dreamed of, don't be afraid to put in the hard work to research. You can make your own favours, decorate the hall with friends, and even have the ceremony in your backyard. Number 9. Makeup. There are stores in malls dedicated to the selling of the different products. It could be eyeshadow, blush, lipstick, foundation. Walls are lined with the different items, and it is said that women can spend close to $15,000 on makeup in their lifetime, including the loss of $400 on makeup that goes bad. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, there are expiry dates on the powders and creams. We understand that the application of makeup can help provide confidence when going out on a date or going in for an interview, but as too much makeup can cause skin issues due to the chemicals, 
chemicals, then moderation of when to wear and how much to wear is key. But wait until you see number seven. Number eight, new cars. We all enjoy those new car perks. It could be the smell of the car, fresh, clean and no other scents mixed with it. Or maybe how the seat is just right and hasn't had someone else sit on it. The problem with new cars is that the minute you've signed the ownership and drive off the lot, it starts losing value by almost 40%. You could have spent $25,000 and the minute the wheel hits the road, it has dropped to around $15,000. The money spent could have been used elsewhere, while a used car could have saved some coin. Let's move on to number seven. Fast food, eating, drinking out. Convenience. That's what our number seven is to one and all. The idea of being able to go through a drive through or maybe pop into a restaurant and pay someone else to make your meal is all for convenience. We understand it could be a long day at work or perhaps you're outside enjoying the nice weather and don't want to worry about fixing something to eat for dinner. Setting up the crock pot or having pre-made meals to throw into the oven when you get home will save money to enjoy other things in life and make the meal taste that much better. Number six, wrapping paper. Most would say that the use of wrapping paper is to make a gift look nice and pretty, but also to hide what may be within the box. This is true, however, picture the whole process. Once the gift is wrapped, how many then take the time to unwrap and reuse the paper? Very little do, as it is often more entertaining to watch the loved ones grab hold and rip. After all is said and done, that paper ends up in the garbage, as the dyes and chemicals are not recyclable. If you want to make things easier and environmental, you could use gift bags, tree-free paper, or even the comic section of the newspaper to give a giggle. Number 5. Greeting Cards Here we are at the top 5. Do you agree or disagree with what we have so far? Well, hold on as we move on to number 5. Greeting Cards this was a way for people far and wide to share in the holiday spirit and share maybe a message of what they wished their friends in the new year. Problem is that once the card was open and the new year passed, the cards could end up in the garbage or recycling. There are some who choose to scrapbook, but it still takes a lot and uses up trees. Solution? We live in a technology age and if you want to, you could very well send an e-greeting card to those you want to wish a happy new year, birthday or Christmas. Number 4. Playing the Lottery it could be scratch cards, local or even widespread lotteries like 649 or Lotto Max. Many of us like to indulge by paying a few dollars for the chance of thousands, if not millions. The chance is very slim to actually win and what is being used to buy those weekly lottery tickets could go towards paying for something you need. We are so close to number one and it is shocking. Number three, diamonds slash jewellery. Some say that diamonds are a girl's best friend, or that jewellery is the best gift to give your significant other for every important holiday. This is not the case, as if you think back on the idea of engagement rings, it is a very recent idea in history. The jewellery bought won't receive as much return as what was spent, as their worth is based more on inflation. The diamond industry controls the supply and therefore the retail price. Consequently, you may buy an engagement ring at a higher price than what you would have paid six months earlier or later. Then again, everything is not always about the money, unless you are thinking of creating and building wealth over the long term. Number 2. Designer Clothes and Fashion I can say many of us like to look good. It helps with our self-esteem and confidence in day-to-day -day life. You can look good and not need to spend hundreds of dollars in doing so. The brand of the item is what justifies the amount. Sometimes it can be double or more of what you would pay at a box store like Walmart or Target. There are also those out there who feel the need to spend money each season to keep up with the fashion trends put out there by celebrities and fashion houses, when if you look at history, fashion trends tend to repeat. Can anyone say the bell-bottom pant jean? Don't be afraid to wear that top more than three times and and if you do need to get something new, then buying it in every colour may be overdoing it. We are just one away from the top of our 15 biggest wastes of money. Are you ready to see what it is? Number 1. Cigarettes here we are at the number one expense that can be reduced. Magazines and film popularised the image of cigarettes to the masses for decades. Hollywood figures such as James Dean, Marilyn Monroe glamorised the image making it cool. In truth, all these sticks do is cause damage to your body. Yellowed skin, nicotine markings on your fingers, teeth and tongue, as well as darkening in your lungs that can lead to cancer or other health issues. It is addictive as well, which means it can be hard to stop. And once you have, there are triggers that may cause you to pick up the tobacco stick and start all over again. 
Finally, other expenses that one might find as a waste of money are cleaning products, gadgets, luxury hotels and gyms. There are so many cleaning products out there that you could buy three different brands that do the same job. In the gadget world, we are always looking for something that will make our lives easier and when something new comes along, we just have to have it. Luxury hotels and gyms are great as they are a treat for your soul and help your body, but sometimes a normal hotel and going for a walk around the block will work. Well guys, that's it for this video. Did you agree with most or perhaps you would have them in a different order? Maybe even have things on there that we did not include? Let us know in the comments. Click the links above to check out some of our other videos. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. We have many great videos coming up. See you in the next video.